So we had some extra time on stream and I wanted to try to build a destiny board deck. So I've not played this deck in Master Duel before, but I decided to build it today because recently-ish they added an animation for destiny board if you actually win with it. So I wanna try to see that in today's video, but I will say we are playing on the Master Roulette account for two reasons. First off, this deck is actually surprisingly expensive. And then second, we'll also be pretty low ranked because I haven't really played a lot of ranked on my Master Roulette account. So let's do a batch generate so we can actually just get the entire deck right there. 300, you are dust. Yeah, that is great. Wait, we got a Royal Magical Cylinder? That's so cool, but it's not our main account. That one hurts the most. Fuck, that's such a cool Royal Rare. Rookie Tier 2, what a great and competitive rank. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. This virtual private network keeps your data safe by encrypting it, and you can use it to change your virtual location to access content you otherwise wouldn't be able to find. For example, without using a VPN, if I open up Netflix, all I can watch is the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, the first four seasons of it. But if I switch my virtual location over to Japan using Surfshark VPN, then I can watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions movie as well. Surfshark VPN has over 3,200 servers in 99 countries, so you'll all always be able to find a server that fits your needs. And just one subscription to Surfshark VPN lets you use it on unlimited devices. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals slash dzeef and enter promo code dzeef in all caps for 83% off and three extra months for free. Thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. I don't know, maybe we should have, oh, they're making us go first. Okay, perfect. We want to see what, Inspector Border, Destiny Board. I think Inspector Border is like the best card to actually slow the game down to our pace. I like this hand. Now the thing about setting Skill Drain here is that then we have to get rid of it to resolve the Destiny Board. Like Dark Sanctuary gets it off the board. Oh, a fellow back row player, maybe. End phase, here we go, activate Destiny Board. Your turns are limited. Three more turns of this. Ooh, okay, that actually does speed it up quite a bit. Set that. Are we just gonna get it on the second game? Is it that free? Probably should've switched this to defense mode, whoops. Now I do have to remember how Sentence of Doom works. I can't remember if it was like the next letter in sequence or if it just can be any letter. I think it has to be the, no! <gasps> He's outing Inspector Border, okay. That's fine, we don't need Inspector Border. Discard blue eyes. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now on a two turn clock. Well, three turn, unless one of these face down cards does something. If it's a three turn clock, I win. Okay, so just 3,000. Man, a dark sanctuary off the top right here would be really big. It would allow us to set skill drain. It would block the attack. It'd be so good. So how does this work? Yeah, in sequence, in sequence. Destiny board activates an end phase. Let's resolve that. Oh, it doesn't even let you choose the wrong one. Okay, nice. Block fate sentence of doom. Oh wait, this one actually would let you. That's what happens, right? Summon Dinomiscus. Okay, that kind of sucks. I did not consider that. I think I have to do this play though regardless. Oh my gosh, this is actually like coming down to the wire. Because if we draw Dark Sanctuary here, this is like done. <laughs> Our opponent's probably just playing like the blue eyes structure deck with one Dinomiscus and I'm like, Oh gosh, dude, we got it. Regeki! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Regeki! That's perfect. Please don't have any white stones set. Get out of here. What do we hit? What do we hit? Maiden and Protector with Eyes of Blue. This is it, right? He has one card in hand, one card face down. I think we just have it right there. Second game, easiest game of my life. I mean, it's in rookie, like, it's fine, but. Come on. Yes. Set pass, second try. What? I forgot to put L in? No, this can't be happening. I'm taking the L because I forgot to put L in. It showed L for the trap. Destiny board has to go in order. I was right. You do have to go with the last letter first. Oh my gosh, I, I knew it. Oh shit, okay. No. Wait, what? Yeah, so the trap card, I've done this before in the past. The destiny board trap card. Here, we'll take a look here. This is a fun little ruling for you, Coder. I don't know if it's ever come up before because who the fuck plays destiny board, but. Destiny board says, 
Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, place one spirit message card from your hand or deck in the spell and trap card face up in the proper order of I N A L. When this card and all four spirit message cards of different names are placed on your field, win the duel. And then this one says, you can send this card from your spell and trap card zone to the graveyard, place one spirit message card from your hand deck or graveyard in your spell and trap card zone. This is treated as being placed by effective destiny board. So destiny board has to put them in order. The sentence of doom, therefore, is starting from the back end of the letters. So you start with L and go backwards because you need the destiny board to place every piece in order. And that's what I thought, but I just, I couldn't remember in the moment. I do think we should cut these cards, Battle Fader and Swift Scarecrow to play Threatening Roar and Wabaku. We'll get it this time. We'll get it this time. Don't worry about it. We've made some updates to our deck. We know how the ruling works. This is it. Oh yeah, we can't be branded. <laughs> we get to go first. Inspector Border, Field Spell, Destiny Board. That's what I wanna see right here. We do have some pot cards to get there as well, but that's like the ideal three cards. Wow, I can't believe that actually just happened. I don't know what I did to deserve that, but sure. This card, Skill Drain, I think? Maybe should have kept the Skill Drain just in case they have an out for the border, but I feel like they won't have an out for the border because we'll have Threatening Roar and Dark Sanctuary. Like in terms of if I will Threatening Roar, I would say if they have one monster, I probably wouldn't because I don't know if people will take the risk with Dark Sanctuary. <gasps> a Blue Eye Starter deck. This kind of feels like bullying a little bit. Wait, what the fuck? Stamping destruction on the destiny board. Does this protect destiny board? No. He just outed it. Stamping destruction on destiny board. Damn. Okay, he was not willing to take the dark sanctuary. Yeah, that makes sense. Another inspector border. Okay, okay. We'll just get lucky. Activate dark spirits mastery. Shuffle back one. And then I swear we'll just draw into the destiny board right off the top. Ring of Destruction? Dude, this guy actually had the out for my best opening. I cannot believe it. Out of the destiny board, no problem. Out of the inspector board, no problem. I think the blue eyes starter deck is like unbeatable. Okay, perfect. Activate, pot of duality. Okay, we'll add um, extravagance to dig for the destiny board next turn. And I will set inspector Border. I feel like if I set the inspector border, he might actually try to attack into the dark sanctuary, which would help me with burn damage. Because we also have the wacky, crazy alternative win condition besides our regular alternative win condition of destiny board. That is uh, magic cylinder with dark sanctuary can eventually defeat our opponent. Oh, nice. Okay, rush recklessly. So dark sanctuary saving now. Is that a hit? It's not a hit. Fuck. Wait, that's so bad. I'm actually losing to this deck, by the way. Unless? Fuck. Like, maybe I should have threatening roared, but I felt like it was a good 50 50, you know? We got this. We got this. Don't worry. Threatening roar. Nope. Where is our win condition? It's in there. We're going to see it right here. Destiny board. Off top. No. Um, yeah, I guess let's pass. Tribute summon. Is this blue eyes? Oh my gosh. Now I don't have to threaten him more anymore. He had lethal and now he doesn't. Attack with blue eyes. Dark sanctuary one time, please. 1500. We're almost halfway there. Like I'll take a cylinder win. Cylinder has an animation too. I draw. Okay, that's pretty bad. Extravagance. So we've like what duality once and then now extravagance twice oh my gosh okay cylinder though cylinder is there that is not bad at all damn well that's unfortunate wabaku is actually probably the best one. Oh, i actually lose to stamping destruction here maybe i should have blocked that there's two in his deck i know that for a fact okay i'm gonna set wabaku this time go ahead Lord of D. Okay. Like, I think we have to uh, let him attack just to trigger the Dark Sanctuary. And then if it doesn't block... Okay. So he's at 39. I don't think I'll block this Blue Eyes attack. Lord of D blocks Magic Cylinder. I am getting outplayed. Damn. More Wabakus, though. I mean, he'll just probably eventually lose to the Dark Sanctuary, I think. That is really funny, though, that the uh, Lord of D blocks from Cylinder. 
flute of summoning dragon. Oh shit, oh shit. What if that's like two dragons in hand? He's had this in hand for a while, right? Yeah, strong wind dragon. Oh, just that, okay, sure. Come on, Dark Sanctuary, you got this. Nice. Maybe this will be the turn where it blocks every attack. Damn it, okay. Well, let's use Wabaku again. Oh wait, we can actually Sentence of Doom, put L on the board, and then... Wait, why are you doing this? You might take damage for no reason. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to flip this, and then... Oh, especially now that I have two. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Active Sentence of Doom. Send to the Grave. Special Summon. This has definitely been one of the games of all time. So, this is pretty cool. We summon L. We don't even have a Destiny board on the field. Oh, shit! Kachi Kochi Dragon? Okay, enter battle. So, we have to Threatening Roar. We can no longer fuck around with the Dark Sanctuary, unfortunately. Oh shit, I forgot to do that again. I keep forgetting to do the Sentence of Doom. Okay, so we enter the battle phase. We're gonna Threatening Roar, of which we are now out of. We did it. Holy shit, we did it. Oh my gosh. It's time. Add Destiny Board. But we don't have a Threatening Roar, so there's no way that he just like keeps attacking. No, we're just fucking dead, I think. If he attacks with Blue Eyes first, I'll just Cylinder, and then maybe he won't attack. Maybe he won't be willing to risk it. What? Second blue eyes? Second blue eyes. Oh, he's flexing. Okay, yeah, definitely if he attacks with a blue eyes first, I will cylinder, put him at 300, and then I don't think he'll attack again. I want him to make the 50-50. Like, that's gonna be his call if he wants to attack, so I'll cylinder this one, that's fine. <laughs> that animation is so cool, by the way. What? Oh, it still flips. Okay, I was very confused. So he can, oh, of course he's just gonna do it anyway. Come on, please heads, one time. I know this has been like a 30% success rate so far, but like, <laughs> one time, heads. I lost to the Blue Eyes starter deck. Surely these changes will be enough to fix our deck. Right, chat? Better be. <laughs> going second. But he has a, isn't this a Mech Knight or a Crusadia card? Yeah, we're going first, nice. You know, we had a good run. We really did, but we do in fact just lose the game to us. Uh, Surely these changes will help us win the game. <laughs> We're going first, holy shit. Okay, here we go. This is a hand. I don't even know what I want to see off this. There's no two cards that actually do anything. That's a good card though. That is certainly a card. Yep, that's pretty good. No destiny board though. We will get this, I promise you guys. We will do this. There are enough people out there playing starter decks. I think we're playing against another person playing a starter deck, so this could be the game that we actually win. And at this point, it is no longer bullying if I play against Blue Eyes starter decks, which we are, by the way. And I'll tell you why, chat. I literally have already lost to this exact strategy. Therefore, the starter deck is, in fact, a favored matchup for them. <laughs> against my deck. This is actually so stupid. 2,100 attack points. Sorceress spell wall is gonna fuck me right here. Are you kidding me? I'm actually gonna lose again. This is ridiculous. This is a hard matchup. Destiny World players all across the land know about the Blue Eyes starter deck meta game, and it is just too hard to keep up with sometimes. So I have to Wabaku here, and then Inspector Border can attack over this, because if I don't Wabaku, I'm gonna have to waste the Regeki, which I do not wanna do. Yeah, it's kinda crazy, but Unexpected Die does not put any restrictions on the monster. I mean, it's just a vanilla monster, right? But it doesn't get destroyed at the end phase. It's not restricted from being able to attack, stuff like that. So I will attack. Nice. Oh yeah, and they have Stamping Destruction, which is like a really tough card for me to deal with. Yeah, this is a really hard matchup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really hard matchup. Okay, another 1900 guy, perfect, that's fine. 
No, call the haunted. So unfortunately, I have to Wabaku again here. I hope you guys know that. And then we'll probably have to Regeki. At this point though, we kind of need like extravagance into Dark Sanctuary and Destiny Board. We don't have either one of those cards. <gasps> Destiny Board. Okay. We have Destiny Board Regeki. Aha, attack with border. Set Destiny Board. I'm actually going to keep the Spirit Barrier in hand just in case we do not draw the Dark Sanctuary. Are you fucking kidding? Dude, I can't beat this. I cannot beat Beckoned by the World Chalice plus Sorceress Spell Wall. This infamous combo has been plaguing the metagame for years at this point, and I just, I can't believe they have not banned one of these cards. I know people keep talking about um, they want Konami to implement something where, like, you can't play two specific cards in the same deck, and I really feel like Beckoned by the World Chalice plus Sorceress Spell Wall should be added to that list. Oh my gosh, we have the combo. Oh my gosh. Okay, we actually have the setup if he does not have Stamping Destruction, specifically. He also has to have a Dragon Monster, which at the moment he does not have, but this is the combo. We don't have a way to speed it up at the moment, which is kind of a problem. I'm pretty sure if you chain Metaverse to the Attack Declaration, it does not actually work. So we'll activate Dark Sanctuary. So this turn, we don't really have a way to block these attacks, but uh, we will soon. Maybe we'll just get lucky. Yes, heads. 950, nice. Haha, -ha, your spell wall is hurting you. Tails, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're good. That's the last damage we're ever gonna take. I'll tell you that right now, chat. Destiny board and end phase. Okay, please do not draw the fucking <laughs> Uh, stamping destruction and a dragon at this point. Gosh, you could even go into blue eyes. That's really annoying. Hmm. What do we got? Prosperity. Okay, so we could dig towards. Wait, we can dig towards the out to stamping destruction. We can actually have like the perfect setup. Okay, that's fine. Um, this card's pretty good too. Set a back row. So I will spirit barrier. So it doesn't really matter what the coin toss is. We are now unable to take damage. Battle damage, that is. And we have a monster that can't be attacked while on the field. So unless he has exactly stamping destruction, I think we can get this one. Nice. He's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of fucking weird, right? Please don't scoop. No, don't even say that. Do not even joke about him scooping. Is he actually AFK over this? He's probably reading. Yeah. Trying to figure out like what's going on here. Oh yes, he's not scooping. Okay, you guys are right. He was just reading. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna save this. We're just gonna save that for the very last turn. Summon A. This is happening right here. I guess technically we should set this, right? Yeah. Why are we waiting? Once that L goes on the field, is it over? Wait, did I miscount? Oh my gosh, you only have to put four of these on the board, not five. F is a letter. I'm so dumb. Yeah, yeah, we already have game. I forgot that you only have to set. It's fine. It's no problem. I just gave him an extra turn. Don't worry about it. I forgot that you're only getting to uh, four of them. Oh, wow. That's actually so much crazy. Well, it's like F is a letter, but I just think this one's like destiny board, you know, and the other. Anyway, we got it. That's the important part. End phase, activate destiny board one final time. We gave him an extra turn on accident, but it's okay. Activate Spirit Message L. Here we go. Ooh, very spooky. Oh, I was like, is it gonna spell out hell? There's no way, right? Victory. One due to Destiny Board's effect. I am part of an elite group that is one using Destiny Board. Very few players have the privilege of using such a powerful card in their deck.